What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. So I have been, you know, every day going through Steam looking for new games to play that are either really bad that I can kind of make fun of or really good and flying under people's radar. The big AAA titles I play for pleasure on my own time, but I'm not as interested in trying to make videos of those right now. Uh, that's just not the direction that I really see this channel going in. If you guys would like to see it go in that direction and you'd like to see me play more AAA titles or maybe older AAA titles uh, that haven't been reviewed or looked at for a while, yeah, let me know in the comments section below. But the main thing I've been doing lately is looking for those lesser games, whether quality or um, just lesser in the fact that they're not getting much attention. One of the trends that I've noticed lately that has been really kind of getting under my skin is these developers that are doing kind of the Unity Asset Flip type games um, or just really simple games and they are trying to make the game sound like more than it is. They're, they're misrepresenting their product. And so I actually purchased a game called Attack of Insects and I actually don't have much of a beef with this game. This game is very straightforward in what it is, what it does, and what your expectations should be. It was released yesterday and the little blurb here says, love insects and insects that are two or even 10 times more than you. If you love, then it's fine. You will definitely be pleased with our insects. And if you do not love, then you will be happy because you have to shoot on insects and watch them fly apart. So what it's basically saying is, hey guys, do you like insects and think they're cool? Awesome, have fun shooting our insects. Do you hate insects and think they're gross? Cool, shoot our insects and like let out some pent up insect hating rage. Real straightforward stuff. Screenshots, a lot of them still have the, the Russian in there. It's a Russian-English game. Uh, it was, I believe, made by Russian developers. And then when you go down here, there's not a bunch of nonsense, you know, crazy like, oh man, our game's so cool, and look at these screenshots that we somehow managed to capture even though it's never gonna be repeated in the game and blah, blah, blah. No, it's real straightforward. You got two game modes. You've got level capacity and a leveling system. You can upgrade your weapons. You earn money. Um, they list off some of the, the weapons that you can get. Shotgun, turn insects into porridge with a rocket launcher. And if you're a real gourmet, fry them up with some plasma, okay? Different maps, play on existing maps, earn money and buy new maps. I mean, that's it. That's, that's, that's everything right there. System requirements, they're pretty low. And that's their game. And that's what they're selling. And that's what they're, they're touting it as, just this. That's it. Let's look at another game. This game is called Red Wake Carnage. Right away, let's take a look at the sort of thumbnail there. We've got uh, scantily clad women, a guy with bulging muscles and weapons all over his back, and a brood of demonous creatures with glowing red eyes in the background. Red Wake Carnage. Red Wake Carnage is an intense action shooter that will take you on an epic journey of fighting the world's most horrifying animals. Let's take a look at some of these horrifying animals that we're going to be... Uh... Oh, penguins! The lesser known horrific animals. Yeah, I find penguins to be really terrifying. Slaughterhouse mode! Oh, what are we... Is it going to be grizzlies? No, nope. giraffes because everybody has a secret fear of giraffes. Am I right? Oh, that's cool. You can launch yourself like 300 feet into the air. And then we've got this quote. And I heard Kanan said, they went too far. I'm done with them. Let's kill them all. Okay, that makes, all right, sure. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. Let's look at some of these screenshots. A hippo chasing a gazelle, a very poorly rendered lion, Hippo, real blocky Gibbs, an alligator, and an elephant. So let's go down below and see what they have to tell us about their game. What is Red Wake Carnage? Which I don't even understand that name. I don't know if it's supposed to be like blood in the water, you know, and it's like wake washing up on the shore. I, I don't I don't know what Red Wake Carnage means. Clearly, I need help here. Let me know in the comment section below what I'm missing here. Because I understand what attack of insects means. It means that insects are gonna attack us. I don't know what Red Wake Carnage means. Red Wake Carnage is a chaotic, first-person shooter that confronts heavily armed players with the most horrifying animals that ever roamed the Earth. 
penguins and giraffes included, apparently. The setting, the world of Redway Carnage is filled with animals which have enough of humans, careless behavior, and destroying our planet. That is why they decide to act and destroy humanity as we know it. Okay? The story starts when animals have united and started humanity wipeout. You are the only one capable and standing between us and extinction. Is it me or is the English like degrading as we go on? Variety of animals to shoot in dice ranging from hippos, rhinos, lions up to crocodiles and zebras. Multiple bosses to defeat with a wide arsenal of weapons ranging from AK-47 to fire axe. Redway Carnage will take you on a ride that you will never forget and you will finally appraise the fact that your local store has bleach on the shelves. Oh good. Yeah, some, some dank meme humor for you there. Um, we've got a guy with a baseball bat about to hit a grizzly in the face. Okay, so I hope that's in the game. A guy with a chainsaw and a shotgun being nibbled on by a rhinoceros with, like, possessed eyes. I'm sure that'll be in the game. We've got two very scantily clad women here, a guy with a sword on his back, and an AK fighting hippos on a boat, I'm guessing, judging by the water and the paddle in her hand. So are the girls in the game? Do you play as a football player in the game? Do you get a broadsword in the game? Is there a level where we're racing down the river being attacked by wild hippos that are this size? Somehow I really doubt it. Somehow I think that most of the game is gonna feel like this. Terrible gibs, mindless enemies coming at you with an assortment of modern firearms. No sword, no girls, no boats, no story, no nothing. And, and I love this line here. Redway Carnage will take you on a ride that you will never forget. That implies your game's awesome, and you'll finally appraise the fact that you're, I think it's supposed to be appreciate the fact that your local store has bleach on the shelves. So which is it, guys? I mean, is your game awesome, or does it make us want to kill ourselves? Because just reading and looking at your page is already handling the bleach part just fine. No part of this makes me want to play your game. You guys are dishonest and trying to peddle crap that's polished up into a shiny form. Versus these guys who game I actually bought, one, because it's not $10, it's 50 cents when I purchased it. Two, because I feel like I know exactly what I'm going to get with this. And you know what? I did. Exactly what they said. Bad Wolf Games, made with Unity. They're letting you know right away it's made with Unity. And when you jump in, you pick your country. There are abilities, just like they said. The money works in the game. I already spent all mine. The shop. I've already unlocked all the weapons for the sake of just kind of doing a quick overview here. All their settings work. Uh, fast farm is good just if you want to just make money quickly and unlock things. Um, graphics. They do have some different graphic options that do tweak the settings. Languages, sounds, other, you can clear your save, and then you go into normal game. Did you learn everything? Everything all purchased? And then that's it. You go in and you, uh, you, you, you fight the, the aliens, the Unity asset creatures that they purchased. It has a very Starship Troopers vibe to it. The creatures are pulled right from Starship Troopers, to, at least two of them are. And that's the soldier bugs here that are racing at us. They use the Unreal voice announcer for their for their announcer, and that, you know what? That's that's open access, so whatever. That's their prerogative. The thing that I want to point out here is: is this a good game? No, no, it's not a good game. But these developers knew what they were capable of doing. They knew what their realm and their scope was, and they stayed within it. That's it. That's all they did. Let's throw down this turret here. And you're playing exactly what they talked about on their Steam store. I've purchased some of the games from uh, the, the guys that made the Red Wake River Water, whatever it's called. I've played some of their games. I think Jim Sterling did a review on one of their games where he had a trouble even finding enemies in the game to shoot. Their games are a buggy, broken mess. This may not be a good-looking game, and this may not be a complex game. But you know what? I'm here. I'm shooting bugs. I'm earning money. I'm adding attributes to my character, leveling up perks and things, and skills. 
and unlocking new levels. And it's 50 cents. Am I going to be playing this for a long time? Nope. Probably never play it again after this video. But you know what? If I was a kid, and all I had was a laptop to play on that couldn't handle AAA titles, and I just really just wanted to play some video games, and I wanted a first-person shooter that was just mindless, and I had 50 cents, then you know what? I'd be getting what I paid for with this game. And that's the point of this video. That's it. That's all I really wanted to say, and I, I said it in a very long, drawn-out way, and I apologize for that. But I'm just sick and tired of Steam games coming out every single day trying to tout themselves as something they're not, take your money, acting like, hey, we're this awesome game, when in actuality, they're worse than this game. They just, you know, hired somebody to do the English for them for their video, or they got some screenshots where they maybe set things up just so it looked cool, or... There's a lot of ways that you, or they maybe put some artwork in of a guy with a broadsword and an AK-47 fighting hippos. There's a lot of ways of making your bad game look good. A lot. And I just respect the fact that these guys are not doing that. So that's pretty much going to do it. If you guys are equally sick and tired of all of the different crap games that are on Steam, especially the ones that sit there and say, hey, look at us, we're amazing, and then you purchase it, and you try it and you're trying to find that refund button you know as quickly as possible if you're tired of that too let me know in the comment section below and as always guys I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out and whatever you do please do not hit that like do not subscribe do not tell people about this video At least a swarm of bugs comes to my house in a revenge attempt to take me out have a great day